And we are back once again with Slime Isekai Memories. Today we are here doing the brand new event, Work Exchange with Shuna and Company. Or Shuna and Co, but I'm pretty sure that's just supposed to be short for Company. So I guess Shuna's gonna be the main character of this event. Also, I really do love that everyone just switched around their clothes. Like, some of these guys look pretty good in other people's clothes. Alright, so it's no board. Alright, so Trainee is in Shion's clothes. Gabata's in Hikaru's clothes. Benimaru's in Soi's clothes. And... Shuna is in... Milam's clothes. So I wonder if those characters that we currently see, like if the people inside their clothes have switched around as well. Because that's like eight different characters. Would it be very hard to model the characters in just different clothes? Probably. Because they have to rearrange the sizes. But yeah, let's just get straight into this event. This is going to be an interesting one. Want to play? Part 1 Hi. Great Rimuru always said that everyone has their own role in this world. Uh. Today, I truly found out just how right he is. <laughs> pant, pant, Gabata, I can't do this anymore. Thomas. What are you saying? We've only just begun. I won't allow you to cry like that. Alright, so I see how this event's gonna go now. So not only are they changing clothes, but they're also changing jobs. It did say work exchange, but now he's acting like Hikaru. And so trying to be a grueling master to everyone under him. Mm. He sounds like Hikaru. But more importantly, the fact that Gabata's acting as a trainer in the first place is... As punishment, I order you to do 300 more push-ups. I'm going to train you to the max. Uh. What? It, One person became a trainer. Eh? I decided to serve as your secretary, Lady Millum. Wait, what? Is Milam being Grimaru for this event? Like, is that who Milam switched places with? I see, I see. Huh? My secretary? Ah, but she doesn't have Rimaru's clothes. That would have actually been an interesting outfit to see on Milam. Yes, please allow me to assist you in doing whatever it is you desire, Lady Milam. I also really like trainee and Xion's outfit. I mean, it seems like she fits that outfit perfectly. It didn't seem like they had to change it that much for her. Also, I never noticed that. I guess because her clothes is green, but she has a green glow to her that's just all over the purple clothes. It's kind of weird, but I mean, it's also kind of pretty to look at. I get my own secretary? Okay then, feel free to serve me. Also, the sword is slightly different. Like, the sheath and the handle are both green instead of their normal purple. Thank you! I shall do my very best as your secretary. One person became a secretary. Phew! That takes care of all the business matters regarding tourism. Now I can finally have a little rest. Hi. Regard. I mean, Xion. I brought a plan regarding improvements to the town's water supply system. Huh? What? There's more work to do. So, no. I don't even have time to breathe. Is this really what Rigard does on a daily basis? One person took over internal affairs. 
Well, from the outfit change, I'm guessing Shuna became a demon lord or basically a jobless person. Because that's basically what Milam does for the most part. I mean, we haven't seen like too much into Milam's life as a ruler of her nation or land. But if she's just in Tempest, then she's just a freeloader slash jobless person. This time, she won't know where I am. <sighs> You're barely hiding. I can feel your presence from a mile away. <laughs> That's funny. So Benny Maru is hanging out with the ninjas to try and be their commander, but he really can't do it. <laughs> what? This isn't good enough. What? He's done the outfit. Come on, they better have a model of him in Soy's outfit. You've got much to learn if you want to become a real spy. I'll have you practice endlessly until you can go completely unnoticed. Shushi. Completely unnoticed. Is that even possible? Who gave you permission to ask a question? Besides, I didn't hear a yes ma'am. And why is she bossing him around? I thought it was Benimaru being in Soy's position. Even if he is, like, an amateur or a noob to, like, being a spy, he should be in the higher position. What? Yes, ma'am. One person became a spy. A few people are taking on different roles than usual. So today, things are a little different here in Tempest. As for me, um, do I really have to do this? I don't see why I have to replicate it. No, it's really important that you do. That's why I want you to go all in. Oh, okay then. First, you need to blast a cloud of dust. Okay, Lady Shuna, I'm going to do it just like we planned. Of course, I won't strike you with all my force. Brace yourself! Okay, Shuna, grab it with one hand. Right. And now, say your line. Oh, you want to play with me? Okay, so they have her acting like Milam. Yeah, can Shuna actually grab the blade? Because Shuna's more of a magic person. Even if she is pretending to be Milam, she shouldn't actually have the strength to catch the blade with her hand. But let's just get a good look at this. We'll probably get a better look when she gets her hands off her stomach. But yeah, this outfit's pretty cute on Shuna like the outfit is hold on I just noticed she has a skirt instead of wearing the panties or I don't know what you call that for Milam her swimsuit I, I don't know what what you want to call like basically what's between her legs I'm guessing they're just underwear or panties that, that's the only thing I can imagine but it seems like Shuna just chose, eh, I'm going to put a sweater here. I, I don't want to show all that. But yeah, that's weird. That's either because they want Shuna to be more modest. So it's like, eh, I'm going to make this sweater. But then that means like that is actually supposed to be super sexual for Milam. But they don't want to show Shuna, who is like more of a woman than Milam. Ahaha! Good one, Shuna! It would have been nice if they gave Shuna the coat variant of this outfit instead of, like, this variant without the coat or cape. But yeah, I want to see these two side by side so I can pick out the differences between the outfits. Hi. That's right! 
I'm currently taking on the role of Great Rimuru's bestie. Alright, so we can get a good look at it now. So yeah, she has the long sleeves. If she has the, like, white top. The three-colored necklace. She has the stockings. Slash socks. The only thing super different is the skirt. That Shuna has than Milam. All right. I also wonder what that letter is. I really do want to see all these characters in different outfits. It's literally just him that's not in a different outfit currently. And what's Rimuru's reaction to all of this? Let's see. Fire? Oh man, I haven't had to use a fire team in forever. Actually, no, I, I, I forgot. Yeah, I gotta make my harvest team. So, you got to give me a minute as I put a good harvest team together. Alright. Not the most cohesive team ever, but that really doesn't matter. All I wanted was a high percentage. But this is interesting. They have a Soka as a dragon newt. I mean, it's kind of funny that she's part dragon newt anyway, or like, she used to be a dragon newt before evolving into whatever her current species is now. But yeah, this is a cute outfit for her. Cosplaying as Gabriel. Her armor is actually girl's armor instead of being like regular armor like Gabriel's. And she has a skirt slash dress going on here. It's really cute. And it looks like she's having fun playing with her father's spear. And then here is the, is the card art for the Gabata Hikaru card. Not bad. Yep. His art ain't bad. Alright, let's get straight into this. All right, now let's get into this. I just saw like Isis's level and I was like, damn, she actually has a pretty low level. I guess I didn't catch that when I was first making the team. <laughs> All right, she has instantly Gets her super. One slash. No. What is this? Damn, I can't see the currency. Protecting Tempest, part one. How did I end up taking on this role? Well, it all goes back only a few hours ago. Man, usually it's a few days, but a few hours? Great Rimuru was out of town for the day. Hi. Shion, I've organized all the documents for you. Should I put them on Great Rimuru's desk? Yes, please, and thank you. I'm sure Great Rimuru will look through them once he returns. You sure are amazing, Lady Shuna. The documents are more neatly organized than usual. I'm sure Great Rimuru will be very pleased. Hehe, <laughs> thank you. But... This is supposed to be your job as his secretary, Xion. Please keep that in mind from now on. Huh? Right, I definitely will. Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee. What a pleasant sight. Yes. But it's unfortunate that Great Rimuru is away. Sorry, you must be very busy right now. Yo. No, please don't apologize. We're just working hard to prove to ourselves that we can do our jobs even without Great Rimuru's guidance. 
Wow, that's very reassuring. And it's true that Tempest is no different from its usual self today. Like you baked your sweets, which are just as good as always. What do you mean, it's no different from usual? I'm saying that despite Great Rimuru's absence, Tempest remains a safe place to be. Yes! That's because there's growing awareness among us that it's our responsibility to protect Tempest while Great Rimuru is away. You said it better than I could, Benimaru. Everyone, including myself, needs to stay vigilant. <laughs> hey, Rimuru! Got anything fun for me to do? Ma. Ah, Lady Milam, how nice to see you. Oh Likewise. Hey, where's Rimuru? Etto. Unfortunately, he's away on a diplomatic mission. Oh what? That's too bad. I want to play with him today. I'm sorry that he's unavailable when you've come all the way here. But would you like to try some of Shuna's sweets instead? Wow! That looks yummy! Don't mind if I do. Mmm! <laughs> it's so sweet! Shuna, I think you've improved again. It's like they taste better each time. Heh <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you like them. Don't flatter her too much, Lady Millum. <sighs> so you say. But I see you've been wolfing them down, Benny Maru. <coughs> Oof. Eto. Honestly, I don't feel like I'm improving. But maybe my daily efforts are paying off. So this one, eh? It's hard to grasp just how much one skill improves over time when you're constantly practicing. But we all gradually change without noticing it. We all gradually change, huh? So Maybe we and Tempest have changed over time without us even realizing it. I mean, kind of, yeah, sort of. If you think about it, it's like this village was just all goblins and Rimuru at one point. It started growing bigger and bigger. It was the goblins, the wolves, then the dwarves, then the ogres joined. Slowly but surely, the village Tempest was getting bigger and bigger each year. And, I mean, like, all the battles they've been in have made them a lot stronger. Plus, with Rimuru becoming a demon lord, everyone became stronger because of that. Tempest? Yeah, well, obviously. Like, I was impressed the first time I came here, but the developments you've made since then are even more amazing. I'm sure Rimuru's played a massive role, but he couldn't have done it without everyone's help. Thank you for such kind words, Lady Milam. But you're right. It's thanks to great Rimuru that all of us are able to demonstrate our abilities to the fullest. It's all to do with Great Rimuru's policy when making assignments. He saw what each of us could do and assigned us to the right roles. But truth be told, I've been a little worried recently. I'm not sure if I should just stay focused on the role that I've been given. <laughs> what do you mean? Are you telling me you're unsatisfied with the role that Great Rimuru has assigned you? I mean, sometimes people want to know the possibilities of what it's like in another job. It's like doing what you're best at is cool, but it's like doing another job and having fun. Like sometimes just working at retail, having a fun time, like talking to your co-workers or slacking off with them or working in like fast food. I know it's like the jobs are all kind of terrible to some people, but there are benefits like when you're making friends 
and like having other people who know your pain in that job. Because I've seen some people at restaurants, waitresses, and other stuff that all like their job, but obviously they want something else. But they make it work the best they can. Yeah. No, that's not what I mean. Somebody. I think the biggest obstacle to the further development of Tempest would be if we all got too complacent and stopped growing as individuals. If we stop growing... Hmm... So you mean to say that if we're too satisfied with everything, we'll stop wanting to challenge ourselves? Precisely. I think I'll become... I think it'll become an unavoidable issue in the future when we want to make further developments. Hmm... I like that attitude. I see. I think I understand what you mean, brother. If we end up becoming complacent by only fulfilling the roles that Great Rimuru gave us, we might end up becoming too dependent on Great Rimuru, right? Weird conclusion to gain from that. Like, I think of it more like you're gaining a different skill from being in a different job. Or seeing if you have the potential to do other jobs. Which then help you gain the skills for that job. Like, if Benimaru was actually good at stealthing, he could probably be a spy or at least have some brand new attacks from being a spy or being unnoticeable. So he can come up close to someone and be able to hit him with the black flames or something else. Or, like, in the other cases of, I guess, like, being a secretary, like, how to better help Rimaru in his time of need or when he needs something. That helps whoever's assigned in Rigard's job to become, like, a better leader or manager so that person can learn how to manage other people. If that happens, we could become a burden to Great Rimaru. That's the last thing we want to be. Then, we must take on roles other than the one given to us in order to prove ourselves. Who knows? Maybe we'll find out that we've got some hidden talents. That being said, I don't want anyone thinking they discovered a talent and acting all recklessly. Okay? Were you picturing something in particular, Benimaru? Yeah, what does that mean? So it means if, like, somebody becomes good at, I don't know, baking, spying, or something else, they suddenly, like, get a big head or something like that? And what does that mean for Xion? Like, what would she do? with a brand new talent. Mother! I was only talking to myself! You don't need to draw... Giri... Gaki Maru every time I say something. <laughs> ah ha ha! This is the Tempest I know. Heh <laughs> heh. <laughs> You're right. It's true that being satisfied with our current selves is the equivalent of being complacent. But when Great Rimuru was away... It was our over-dependence on him that caused our defeat. The Kingdom of Falmoth was able to invade because of our reliance on Great Rimuru. Alright, I kind of like that. That this event kind of calls back to events of the main story. It's like they're not just doing this for fun. They actually want to prove themselves or 
Like, this fight is kind of a flashback, which is interesting to see. Like, for once, these battles actually make sense instead of just being, the magical beast has appeared out of nowhere for the hundredth thousandth time. It's too much! Part 1. Such a tragedy must never happen again. That's why we must... We must change for the better, so that we can handle more than just the roles that we've been assigned. Shuna. Lady Shuna? I guess everyone feels the oppressive slash serious attitude that just appeared by looking at Shuna being like, yeah, we, we actually do need to do this. Oh, sorry about that. I was lost in my own thoughts. I suppose I've ruined the atmosphere. There's nothing wrong with taking things seriously. In fact, the world's full of people who've never even questioned their current state. Really? So many? Lady Millum? Oops! My bad. Uh, so you guys want to take on more than your current roles, right? Hmm, I wonder what she was talking about. Was she talking about herself? Like, is she satisfied or being complacent? Being in, like, her ruler position? And so, she's like, am I really com being complacent? Will there be danger in my country if I just be complacent? Or is she, like, thinking about, like, the demon lords? That's what I was going to. Because wasn't it, like, I guess, Carrion that was kind of complacent? Frey, and then Clayman, and then they were all just defeated. And now, Carrion and Frey are subordinates of Milum. And Clayman, of course, is just dead now. Then why don't you just try it for a day? Mm. Try for just a day? Uh-huh. You guys should just trade jobs, roles, positions, or whatever with someone else. Uh. Huh? Trade? Are you serious? Huh? Why are you panicking? Don't you want to be able to handle more than you currently can? Then you guys need to learn what others do in their roles. Wouldn't the quickest way to simply trade roles and find out for yourselves? You're right! Wait, wait. Great Rimuru isn't here right now. What if something were to happen? Don't be silly, Benimaru. Yeah, Milam's here. I mean, she can basically deal with any problem. You guys want to be able to protect Tempest even when Rimuru is not around, right? <laughs> I'm sure that as his best subordinates, you're not going to have any problems. <laughs> but... I really meant what I just said. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I guess it defeats the purpose if we don't do this while Great Rimuru is away. It just shows how dependent on Great Rimuru we really are. Hi. Lady Milam, thank you for such an interesting proposition. Daga. However, we can't just let someone unfamiliar with the roles take on such important positions. <laughs> no, it'll just be for a day. It won't be a problem. Where does that confidence come from? Just like you say, Lady Millum, this might be a great opportunity for us to learn more about each other and reflect on our current selves. Hi. You're right. Let's try it then. This ma. But how shall we choose the roles? <laughs> I think we ought to decide fair and square. Um, yeah, we should get him on board as well. Let's get him now. Who's him? 
I'm guessing Gabuta? Hi. And thus, at the sole discretion of Lady Millum, another member was caught upon. Um, I have no idea what I'm here for. Silence! <laughs> yes, ma'am! <laughs> Ahem. Thanks for gathering here. I'm gonna have you all draw a lottery to see which roles you'll be taking on today. We're deciding with a lottery. <laughs> yep. Trainee suggested that it ought to be decided fair and square. So that's why I came up with this. Thank you for taking in my suggestion. I mean, pulling some sticks would have been a pretty fair way to do it. I see. I think it's a great way to decide since we won't have any arguments over it. But why do I have a funny feeling about this? Although it may be only for a day, you guys will actually be taking on different roles and positions. I want to hear no complaining, no matter what role you draw. And make sure to do your jobs well. Xion, what is she talking about? I have no idea what's going on. Yeah. Lady Milam just told you everything you need to know. How are you going to do your job well like that? No. I told you. I only just got here, so I don't know what's going on. Sorry. You there! Silence! Why is Trady like acting so mean to Gabata? Like she hasn't even taken a position yet. <laughs> yes, ma'am! Okay, let the lottery commence. You're in charge, Trainee. As you wish. <laughs> Okay, everyone, please draw a single lot from this box. The role written on it will be your role for the rest of the day. Hi. Just like that, we started our test of switching roles. Hmm. Let's see. Soy get to be a spy, huh? Acting as Soy's backup might be a good experience for me. ]なるほど. I see. So I'll be in charge of internal affairs. This should be interesting. After all, I've been a bit curious as to what Rigard actually does. I get to be a trainer? Wait, does that mean what I think it does? Wow, I can't believe that I get to be like Master today. I didn't expect myself to be drawing one of these lots. So I'm going to be a secretary like Xi'an, huh? Sounds interesting. But yeah, why did they give her, like, the secretary role? Without Rimuru, isn't that position kind of useless? Unless there has to be someone that substitute for Rimuru as the master. Okay, you're up next, Shuna. That being said, there's only one lot remaining. Hi. Right. I wonder what my role is going to be. Well, whatever it is, I shall do my very best. Let me see. Huh? Um, it says... Great Rimuru's bestie. Yep, in other words, you get to be me. What? What? I had no idea that being Great Rimuru's bestie would be one of the roles. I was determined to fill whatever role I got, but this is too much for me to handle. <laughs> I'm guessing it's too much because being like that close of a personal friend to Rimuru is a little hard for her. Considering her and Xion both have romantic feelings for Rimuru. So, trying to be, like, super close and personal, but trying not to do, like, romantic things would probably be hard for her, or get her flustered. The results of the lottery are absolute, so I want no complaining. Okay, you're dismissed. Now get out there and work hard. 
I'm going to play the part of Great Reamer's bestie. Honestly, this is too big of a role for me. Ugh. I can't believe that I didn't draw the role of Great Rimuru's one and only bestie! Lady Shuna, it's not too late to trade roles with me. I won't allow that. I told you, the results of the lottery are absolute. Make sure to give it your all, Shuna. It's not often that you get to experience being a demon lord for a day. You say that. But it's a demon lord we're talking about here. A demon lord! Hmm. I'm trying to figure out if, like, all of this is giving her anxiety. Or if it's just the Great Rimuru's bestie part. Because, yeah, I was guessing, like, she had to be Milum as much as she can be Milum. Hi. As someone who's been serving Great Rimuru, and has interacted many times with Lady Milam, there's one thing I know. I know just how difficult and crucial the role of the oldest of the Demon Lords and Great Rimuru's bestie is. I just can't. Huh? Did you say something? I just can't do this! It's too much for me! Huh? Ah! She ran away! Catch her! The results of the draw cannot be changed! Make sure to take on my role by any means necessary! I don't know why she's sending everyone to grab her. Milim can do this in like two seconds. Why go so far to make me do this? Alright. I really do want to know what's inside that note. Like, is that note actually something that happens in the plot? Or is that just something for the event part? Double slash. We caught her. Alright, dress her up in the Millum outfit. Dress for success. Part one. Let me go! That's funny that they just have Shion and Shuna's Mano together because that's the only way they can represent that Shion is holding on to Shuna. Don't let go, Shion. Drag her inside if you need to. Hi. As you wish, Lady Millum. Yeah! Why are you taking me inside? Eek! Eh, eh, Lady Millum. Uh... What do you intend to... Just you watch. Dress change. Ah. This. It's Lady Millum's. Okay, so I thought she was the one that made the outfit for herself. But apparently Millum has a dress beam? or dress spell that she can just instantly do. I wonder if the only outfit she can make is her own outfit, or if she can make any outfit. Ooh. Yep, it's my usual outfit. First things first, you gotta dress like me. I mean, <laughs> as you can see, there is some differences, so it's not her exact outfit. I feel like if this was an anime episode or something, it probably would have like put Milam's exact outfit on Shuna, and then she would have been, Milam, I can't go out like this. My underwear are showing, or everyone can see down there. And then she'd be like hiding under some blankets. And then she would probably ask, Milam, 
can you please get me some extra black cloth so I can change the dress a little or change your outfit a little? And then the next scene, we would see that she made the skirt. But unfortunately, because this is a game, I'm guessing they don't want to, you know, have Shuna's like lower half shown. It looks great on you, Lady Shuna. You look so different from usual. I bet I do. Yeah, it's because Shuna's like so conservative with her outfit. Not really showing much, but here you can see her belly. You can see her thighs and everything. Uh, can I have my own clothes back, please? It would be too presumptuous of me to play your part, Lady Millum. But that's what today is supposed to be about. Besides, you agreed that it was important to learn about each other's role. Also, here's both outfits so you can see the differences. Yeah, I really wish they would change the model of Milam into the one without the cape. So we can see the exact differences. Because you can't see like her shoulder like diamond or pearl. But yeah, for the most part, everything's the same, just made a bit bigger. Because Shuna's a little bit of a bigger body size. Still, I didn't think the role of Bestie would be in the lottery. It might be an important role, but it's not exactly a job title in Tempest. Hold your head up high, Lady Shuna. Man, I really want to know what Xion would have looked like in Milam's outfit. You get to play the role of the Destroyer, one of the oldest demon lords, as well as Great Rimuru's bestie. But, like I said, it wouldn't be right for me to play that role. When you're a demon lord, you get to pick fights with as many strong guys as you want. Ooh. That's wonderful. You should go around picking fights, Lady Shuna. <gasps> I'm not picking any fights. Mm. Yeah. Then how about this? Duda. If you're a demon lord, you get to have Rimuru all to yourself, and no one can do anything about it. Huh? What? I like how Shion is just, like, upset at that news and being like, what? Nobody can stop her. And she can have Rimuru all to herself. That's, like, the best thing ever. Wait, no. Come on, let's trade roles, Lee Shuna. Don't get carried away by your desires, Shion. Anyway... This role is way out of my league. That's why I would like to have your permission to switch roles, please. Hmm. Seems like there's a lot you need to learn. Okay. I guess I'll have to train you myself. So, you won't let me change roles? Of course not. Okay. Let's get started then. Try to imitate what I do. First... Try to laugh like me. Ah ha 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 ha. It seems like there's no way out of this. Ah ha ha ha. No, you need to laugh louder to sound like a dignified demon lord. Ah ha 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 ha. Hmm, that didn't sound dignified enough. But I'll allow it for now. Phew. Next up, we're gonna recreate the first time I met Rimuru. What? Why do we need to do? That's a wonderful idea. Shion? Oh. Am I really going to be able to successfully fulfill the role of Lady Millum? Bring it! 
brace yourself. Okay, Shuna, grab it with one hand. Right. And now, say your line. Oh, you want to play with me? Ah ha ha ha! Good one, Shuna. Hi. And so, I ended up having to imitate Lady Millum by saying lines like, You want to play with me? But... <laughs> that one sounded good. Shall we have her do... The thing? Oh, oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, do I really need to do this? Eek! Wait! <laughs> I don't know what they're gonna do to her since I can't remember what happened the first time Milam and Rimuru met. I'm pretty sure they were fighting because Milam just appeared out of nowhere and Rimuru like thought of her as a threat to Tempest and tried to fight her. But yeah, I have no idea what they're gonna do right now. Good. The townsfolk can see you from here. It's a small enough audience to get you started on the right foot. I want you to imitate me, just like you did earlier. You want me to do it here, but it's... Hmm? It's Lady Millum. And is that Lady Shuna? What are they doing out together? Lady Shuna is wearing the same outfit as Lady Millum. That's so cute. Why do I have to pretend to be Lady Millum in front of all these people? Sob. Now, do it. I am Shuna, a demon lord. Ha 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 ha. Huh? Lady Shuna's a demon lord now. Is that why she's dressed the same as Lady Millum? Whoa! Hooray for Lady Shuna! <laughs> That's funny. I wonder if the other like people that had to trade roles are gonna hear about this and being like, What happened now? Shuna's a demon lord. But also, it's like, are we going to see some of the other characters that weren't present for the meeting? Like, are we going to see Hakaru, Soi, and see, like, their reaction to what's going on? Also, this is kind of funny that everyone's cheering Shuna on, thinking that she's a demon lord. Being like, we have, like, three demon lords. Now Tempest is safe forever. Having, like, having Milam as a close ally while having Rimuru, their main master, as a demon lord, and then one of his close subordinates as a demon lord. Yeah, that is a powerful army or military power that they have. If she really was a demon lord. Oh no, they're getting all hyped up. I'm sorry. It's nothing like that. I can't explain. Right. That's enough training on how to be a bestie. You should get to your position now, Xion. Hi. Right. I'll do my very best to fulfill Rigard's role today. Don't just leave me alone here. Whoa! Hooray for Lady Shuna! So, you're going to be a spy, Benimaru. You've been assigned my role, huh? Ugh. Yeah, exactly. I look forward to the experience. <sighs> experience, you say? Do you think so little of my job? I don't know, that feels a little rude to say to your best friend. Like, he just wants to learn. <laughs> and you're making it seem like he looks down on you. Oi. 
What do you mean? Lord Benimaru, you may be one of the most powerful people in all of Tempest. However, whether you make a good spy or not is a whole other story. <laughs> you do understand that Great Rimuru assigns people the roles they are most suited to, right? Of course. But it's safer to have someone who can be your replacement when you're unavailable. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, that is true, but I'm guessing his replacements would be his subordinates. Either Soka or any of the other five or six ninja squad members he has. My replacement, huh? Is, is this basically more shipping fuel? Is he looking at Soka as his replacement? He's like, yeah, if I ever did need a replacement, it'd be her. Well, I don't mean to outright dismiss your idea. I'm sure that the other roles are also highly important, but what we do in our covert operations can determine the future of Tempest. Binimaru, I know that you've got great skills. But I can't have you suddenly take on an actual mission. I want you to undergo some training first, so that I can determine whether you're up for it. Okay, Benimaru? Bring it on! Well then, Soka, show Benimaru the ropes. As you wish. Wait, what? You want me to do it? Soy! You're not the one who's going to train me. <laughs> I won't take any complaints. Alright, I'm heading back to work. So go do your thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> Man, Benimaru wanted to train with Soy. You know, get the best training possible. And I'm guessing Soka just wanted to be by Soy's side. But now they're both stuck together. And Benimaru has to have harsh training from Soka, being like, You're forcing me to train you into being by Master Soi's side. And Benimaru's like, What? I can't do this. This is hard. And you're making it unreasonable for me to train. Okay, I'm gonna train hard today. Huh? Wait, is that Gabata? What are you doing dressed like that? Ahem, um, I'm Gabata, and I'll be your trainer today, in place of Master. I think it's just so adorable, his little outfit on him. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I just have to get a good look at it. He looks kind of lanky in that outfit. Like, I guess that is usually how his model is, but... I don't know, he looks more skinnier in that outfit. And it actually shows, like, his arms are pretty long for his body. Uh. What? You're leading the training, Gabata. What? That's right. And I won't be going easy on you, okay? Ikuse. Right. Let's start with some warm-ups. Show me a thousand swings. Hmm. So, is Hikaru just watching this? Like, is he stepping aside and letting Gabata do it? Or is he, like, watching from a distance, being like, I want to see what Gabata is going to do, and then step in once he's not doing it right. I heard what they're doing today from Young Master. But who'd have thought that Gabata would take my role for the day? Hey, that's bad form. You need to stand up straight, like shoot, and then swing down quickly with a swoosh. I wonder if the Hobgoblin's actually doing it bad, and so Gabata is justified in his harsh criticism. Or is he just wanting to be like Hikaru is to him, 
which is just be like overly critical and so he's just taking it out on this guy that's trying his best <laughs> like this did you even hear what I just said? I said you need to stand up straight, like shoot, then swing down quickly with a swoosh. <sighs> Sigh, you gotta be more specific. You're only confusing them. Hmm. But I can see that he's got them motivated. I guess I can't deny that he's got people skills. Matsu! Mast! I mean, Hakaru! Why are you slacking off like that? <laughs> He's trying to, like, teach his own master. Even though Hakaru knows, like, thousands, if not hundreds of more things than Gabata. Like, everything he would basically try and teach Hakaru is basically what he got from Hakaru. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> I'm the trainer for today. You need to play your role as an apprentice. Hmm. So, you're gonna have a go at me, huh? You got such a bad habit of getting too carried away. Ah, uh, forgive me for my impudence. Will you allow this old man to take a swing at you so that you can show me how it should be done? Also, I just wanted to get a good look at both their outfits side by side. So yeah, everything is just a smaller version of Hakaru's. I guess the main difference is basically the scarf around Gabuta's and Hakaru's neck. Like, Gabuta's is a lot smaller and isn't exactly scaled to Hakaru's. I don't know if it's because Gabuta has such a big head in comparison to Hakaru that it's like that's why his is much smaller or it's just that's the main difference is that they just gave him a smaller scarf huh I need to stand up straight like shoot and then swing down quickly with a swoosh right here goes master Gabata Eek! I knew it was gonna end up this way! 